Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing 10 unknown commands and tools in AutoCAD that are guaranteed to save you time. Let's jump right into today's video. So first up, we're gonna be taking a look at a couple of commands that are gonna help you when dealing with external references or nested objects within AutoCAD. And that first one is going to be something called xlist. So if you type in the command xlist, and hit enter. This is gonna allow you to select any object that is either within a block or within an X ref in your drawing, and it's gonna tell you some properties about it. So you can see this grayed out area here. These walls are part of a floor plan X ref. Clicking it is going to bring up the object list, and it's gonna tell you the settings for this object within the XREF. So it saves you the time of opening up an XREF to check things. And this is super useful if you want to change some of the settings. So it's gonna give you the layer that it's on, as well as how the settings of these objects are set up in that XREF drawing. So by looking at this list, you know right away that you can change the color in your drawing because the color property of these objects is set to by layer, same as the line type. So if you go to this layer in your current drawing and change those properties, the display of those properties will change in your drawing, but these changes won't affect the original XREF. This is also great if you want to freeze or turn off specific layers and you don't know what layer these objects are on. Use the XList command and just simply click on the object and it's gonna give you these properties even if they're not in your drawing. Because if I select this, I'm not getting any of the properties of these individual objects, I'm getting the properties of the external reference. Or in the case of a block, the same thing, I'm only gonna get the properties of the block. So this block is on the chairs layer, but if I type in X list and select the chair again, it's actually on layer zero. So it's using layer zero, which for blocks means that it's going to adapt or adopt the settings of whatever layer these objects are on. So if I put my chair on the chairs layer, it's going to adapt and adopt the chair layer color, line type, and styles. So that's the first command, xlist. Not many users know it, but it is super useful, especially if you're working with large drawings with a ton of xrefs and references in it. This is gonna just save you a ton of time so that you know what's on what layer, especially if you're going to edit them or change them up through the layer properties. Keeping things moving along, 